Hi guys, and what we're gonna do today is create a custom macro in AutoCAD. All right, so what we wanna do is we first wanna to get to the CUI, which is the Custom User Interface dialog box. So we're gonna type in CUI and we're gonna hit enter in the command line. Now, when that pulls up, you'll see a long list of stuff here. We're gonna ignore most of it. We're gonna look in the bottom left-hand corner of this dialog box. I'm just gonna click on one random thing in here and then I'm just gonna right click and go to new command and I'm gonna give this command a name. I'm gonna call it aimcad for right now or maybe aimcad-save. Um, just an improved save button we're gonna make. All right, perfect. So now that I have aimcad save created, um, you'll see right here on the right hand side, this is where everything else is gonna happen. So this is where we pick our icon and maybe we don't want it to look like just an average plane. Maybe we want to fill the plane in with red. So you can click edit and you know, you can do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go, save. Um, and then we can call it uh, aimcad save. I'm always trying to keep this as the name of the command, but man, yeah, I don't know, it's just the way I was taught. So you'll see my save button horribly looking, but that's okay. Um, so I have aimcad save. Now, you'll see the macro here. You'll see up carrot C, up carrot C. What that stands for is escape, escape. My favorite key on the keyboard. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an underscore in. We're gonna type in audit because I wanna run an audit on my drawing before I save it. So it's gonna audit it and then I'm gonna hit enter. So the enter key is not just hitting enter on your keyboard. You have to put a semicolon in. Now you may also wanna use a space, but I don't use spaces. I've had issues with them. So semicolon almost always works. It's great. Now, I, obviously when I do, type in the auto command, normally what's the next question it asks me? Hey, do you wanna fix all the errors in your drawing? And your answers usually wanna be yes, semicolon. So again, enter. Then you're gonna type in Q save, enter. So what this will do, is it's going to hit escape, escape, exiting you out of any commands when you click the button. Then it's gonna audit it, it's gonna say enter, and then it's gonna say yes, and then it's gonna say enter, and then it's gonna say Q save, enter, and you're gonna save your drawing just like that. It's actually pretty easy, right? So we're gonna hit apply, and uh, I just hit apply right now just to kinda hammer down that I'm kinda done with it. You really didn't have to hit apply, but again, just something I'm used to doing. So you'll see on the quick access toolbar, I already have my own standard super save and you can see the unique icons I like to create. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna search for my command. I'm gonna put it right there in the search list. You'll see aim CAD save. Now I'm gonna put it right, right after redo there. So we have aim CAD save. I'm gonna hit apply. You'll see it appear up in the top left hand corner. You're gonna hit okay. Now, all you gotta do is test that awesome command and you're gonna give it a click. And voila, did it work? Well, sort of it did work, it saved, right? Well, did it audit? So if you hit F2, yes, it did audit. F2 key will pull up the AutoCAD text window dialog box and that'll tell you exactly what it works. So to get awesome at macros, really what you need to do is really master typing some of your commands in. So let's take a look at one I've already created a while ago and uh, see how it looks. Sorry about that. So um, we're gonna go to what I call super save. So super save here is very similar to the other command in which we just created, but if you notice it audits, so we'll kind of highlight it here. It audits, enter, yes, and then it does a dash purge. So dash or hyphen purge, enter, then R, enter, enter, meaning it's accepting the default, so it's purging all, and then it's hitting N, and then enter Q save. And what this will do is it enters a slew of different commands. So if we click this one here, did it work? Well, let's take a look. So first of all, we notice it audited and then it ran dash purge. It got rid of registry applications. And then it says verify names to be purged. Remember that enter, enter in there. Perfect, there it is. And verify each name to be purged, no and boom. So as long as you really know the string of commands that you wanna to type to create something, you can create anything you want using a macro. So play around with macros. You never know what you're gonna be able to create. Honestly, you can create a macro using the line command that creates a five by five box, or you can even do one for the rectangle command that automatically creates a five by five box for you. Now, there's a few other things to note about these bad boys here, is you have to know how to pause a command there. So just note, if you put a backslash in, it pauses and waits for user input. That is something kind of crucial to understand because maybe you want it to you know, pause at a certain point and wait for you to pick a point or select an object. Just so you know that pause is the backslash. So, and if backslash doesn't work, sometimes I get it mixed up with the forward slash, right? So 
Sometimes your mileage may vary, but I'm pretty sure it's backslash. So I'll tell you, talk to you guys later. Again, make sure to like and subscribe below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, again, any problems, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll get to them as soon as I can and make another video if I have to. So see you guys later and thank you for watching.